to die. I didn't tell one of them. And I'm leading the front. Well, I was calm. <laughs> and then I learned something from the movement that you will never learn. They were just walking and praying and talking. And so the white guy who was really black, he had to act like he was cussing me out. He said, what do you mean you didn't tell me? And get off, you go home, do what you got to do. I left my children at home, nigga. Just like I do when I go to war for this cracker. You don't take your family with you. They stay home, you in some country you can't even spell the name of it. And that North Korea that blew your foot off can come here now and open up a shop on the corner where you live and you can't open up one and you niggas think you something other than a piece of what? Hmm? And don't even know what you are. Thinking you're going to heaven. What heaven? What heaven? Where's, where, where's a real God going to accept you when you just like them? Hmm? All y'all that own dogs and cats. You ever own the animal, man? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Was it a dog or a cat? Uh, both. Both. Okay. <laughs> Do your research and see why cats have been talked about through generations, because they carry a disease that will destroy you. Hmm? Cats. Hmm? Now, I, I, I ain't been everywhere. I ain't never seen a nigga kiss a dog in the mouth. Hmm? <laughs> You hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You know white folks would do that. And you own one and you didn't do it? <laughs> Did you have a lease when you go out? How many of y'all know in this room that insurance companies pay out more money for dog bites than automobile accidents? Hmm? Did you hear me? And a lot of y'all don't know what you got. If your dog bites somebody, they can take your house, your car, everything. Hmm? People walk down the street with the dog, don't like the dog pull them. And you don't see the same way white folks treated niggas. That's where you treat your animal and think that ain't slavery. It might not be slavery to the church, but the real God that made them like it made you look at you just like you would a slave owner. Hmm? Okay, so you have fun with the dog. Hmm? Enjoy yourself with the dog. You decide when the dog gonna pee, when it's gonna do do, when it's gonna eat, and when it's gonna have sex. Don't that sound like slavery? Yes, but because you can reach the magnitude that this ain't human, that's what they do to slaves. Huh? Oh, they like them, but we know they ain't human. Huh? It's a game. Stole me. You. Sent you one way, your mama someplace else, your children someplace else. And they're going to ask you, why you act the way you act, nigga? I, I, I act like you, boss. Hmm? How come you speak such bad English? I learned from you. See, when I came over here, I wasn't speaking nothing but African. Pure Swahili. And you niggas won't even tell them, I didn't learn English when I was at home. I learned Swahili. And I come over here and listen at you, that's why I talk like you. Hmm? It's that simple. What God put the moon, the sun, the stars together and won't protect its children? What kind of fool are you? Hmm? Somewhere. Just unwind it. Takes a long time. But unwind it. Hmm? Somewhere. And so I say to those of you all that's here, look at the people when they leave here and go downstairs to go home. Look at them. Out of this crowd are the real ones that you don't even know. You can't tell the way they walk, the way they talk, hmm? that that's one of the ones and I always want to compare a nigger to the Jews. The Jews were set free 9,000 years ago. You ain't been free 400 years. Go back 9,000 and kick that first hundred. They act the same way we did. 
That's the way you act when you submit to another human being owning you. But they won't tell you about the hundred million slaves that jump ship. Before I be a slave, I be buried in that don't mean nothing to you. Put some music so you can bug it to it. It's real life. That's how you got here. Black men ran away from slavery and went to Canada and invented ice hockey. Niggas, in the South, niggas didn't have no ice. Niggas do anything they want to do. Anything they want to do. Didn't have no ice. The biggest thing on TV right now is the Oscar. You don't know nothing about the Oscars. You ever seen anything about the Oscars? About that little thing? You know it's brown, right? You think it might you you? Yeah. Two black brothers in Idaho invented the movies. Oscar Michelle. Hmm? That's why they give you the first name, but they won't tell you that nigga's last name. <laughs> and you can't figure it out. Hmm? Oscar Michelle. Hmm? And did y'all see the, the latest big movie they can't figure it out? Get out? The great hand. Now, go back and see it again. You saw it? Boy, that nigga scared me. <laughs> I thought he wasn't nothing but a punk. That nigga was taking all this stuff. And look, I'm the one that told the world that they were stealing your organs. I sit there and didn't even know it because I thought they'd steal them and sell them to your big hospital here. That's the number one seller of organs. John Hopkins, number one seller of organs. Hmm? But I didn't know they would take you to their house. You saw it? Yes, sir. Boy, that white woman tricked them. Yes, a sister ought to take our ass. She said, all right, nigga. I told you. Hmm? <laughs> Hurt me so bad, I'd be scared to die in a life complex, this sister. Man. That nigga went crazy once he got crazy, didn't he? Yes, and if y'all didn't see it, nigga, time, just go see when he came to his real nigga, he grabbed that white boy and stomped I, I felt bad. Hey nigga, that's enough to crack a day. <laughs> Leave me alone. The nigga stomped him from up. He went down to my white part of me. Man, what the <laughs> And that's when I knew white folks were stupid. After seeing that movie, it looked like they had passed legislation. Can't no nigga wear boots. <laughs> Not even child boot. Oh, that, did you see that, man? Did that nigga go crazy? I mean, you could see fifth time that nigga kicked that nigga's head off. I said, stop, man. So I said, Lord, I heard a voice, don't call on me. <laughs> if for nothing else, you want to see that movie. Hmm? I saw it three times the first night. <laughs> but I've been knowing who black women are. I didn't have to go see the movie. If you know who you are, then you don't have no problem producing a son that would do that. But the nigga had to be scared. Hmm? Sister don't have to be nothing. Hmm? Do you know a black woman in America? I don't know if you white folk know it, but because niggas don't talk our real stuff. A black woman in America is the only woman on the planet can take a butter knife and cut your ties to the rim. <laughs> now go home and get your butter knife. It don't even cut butter. And all she asked that nigga who is Melba. <laughs> you hear me? You hear what I'm saying? And he just keep talking his talk. She draw the bath while the phone. He on the phone calling Mel. I think he know about her. She knows about her. Oh, you coming? Yes, I'll be there. He got a nigga got a big old truck. Go out there and all ties are flat. With the butter knife. The nigga looking for something else. But she couldn't have done this. I'm sleeping with every night. Looking down in the basement trying to find a bazooka or something. Then he go out there and see the butter knife laying on the ground. Hmm? That's you. Hmm? I know who you are. Her. If I say her, am I talking about a man or a woman? A woman. A woman, right? So when they talk about hurricanes, it ever dawn on you, they talking about you? 
all hurricanes is the spirit of a black woman and y'all don't know the gift that God gave you. Hmm? Hmm? Hurricanes. All hurricanes start in West Africa at the exact spot where they put the slaves on the ship. Hmm? Stays on the water and follow the same trail the slave ship followed. Huh? The slave was offloaded the ship in the Caribbean. No hurricane jump above water until it gets to the Caribbean and you don't know who you are. Hmm? Hmm? Caribbean hit this country and come all the way up the east coast, all the way to Maine. And Maine is as close to Canada as you are to me. But Canada ain't never had a hurricane because they ain't never messed with a sister. Hmm? That's who you are. You come in here broke, don't know where you're going to get this here. The same God that made the sun and feed all the animals will feed you when you stop thinking you ugly. Hmm? Niggas wear these tight shoes. Then go home, call your sister, girl, my feet. Ooh, my feet was killing me. Still about, no, they stopped when they took the shoes off. Well, niggas, obvious, it's the shoes. <laughs> you ain't never seen a gorilla sitting down on the grass rubbing his feet. Why? Because they don't wear shoes. God didn't give them shoes. Pull your shoes off. And you can walk from one end of America to the other. But you're going to keep them on trying to look fine. <laughs> Ooh, baby, you got a beautiful booty. Y'all know what booty is? The word booty? It's the loot that what? Pirates. The pirates take off the ship. That's what booty means. We're going to go get us some booty. They wasn't talking about a woman. They was talking about real stuff. Hmm? They said, girl, you got a big, fine booty. Huh? Really? You know, God made the booty. The real God. That's where the doo-doo is. So how they can trick niggas to make you believe you got fine booty? Hmm? See how it works? That's simple. A gorilla, you know, a gorilla booty so big couldn't get down this aisle here. Hmm? And then nobody ever said, gorilla got a fine booty. Huh? <laughs> See how it works? All you got to do is go look at the animals. Since we are, you heard the universe, and these little children, like this child, they're asking serious questions. My granddaughter, she's four years old. Two years ago, she said, Granddaddy, is God smart? I said, they say he is. She said, I think he's not smart. Now, if my mother would have been like, she'd have jumped and God going to do something to her. <laughs> God is a jealous God. I've got ten children. If my children was jealous, if I was jealous of them, you know something wrong with me. Fear God if my ten children feared me. Fear is a violation. So some white person can change that stuff around and you bought it. Hmm? Want to go to Egypt to see the pyramid. Look at my nose and when you get home, look at yours. That is the pyramid. God made your pyramid. White folks with money go all the way over there to sleep under the pyramid. Oh, you do sleep on your back, nigga, and you under the pyramid. Hmm? <laughs> How do you not know what God made? The seven wonders of the world, right? Ain't none of them the moon, the star, or the sun. Or water. Something this white boy said he made. Hmm? And y'all believe it, huh? Hmm? Malaysian airline just disappeared. White folk came to me, they picked the wrong nigga. You know what Malaysian airline is in my backyard, cracker. How you know? I never asked you how you know something. My mama told me when I was six years old, there's going to be a plane that's missing. Just open your door. We'll land it in the backyard. Hmm? See that work? Just like that. Somewhere. If you just knew who you were and the people in here that done more to make your life better, hmm? You can't see nothing in their back. You don't see fear. Hmm? Black men come home and talk all crazy. What was the, what was the movie? Uh, Fences? Y'all see that? Yes. You need to see it again. Mm -hmm. The nigga ain't mad at you or his son. 
the nigga mad at white folks, he ain't gonna say nothing. He's gonna come on. Nigga, this is my house. I'll kill you. That's why you gotta see it twice. Sad enough, that story, that the boy went and joined the Marines. We have to kill somebody or be killed with y'all's consent. And some of you niggas let them go because they can't find a job. I hope you do something that you won't meet the real God. Because the real God ain't going to ask you no questions. Hmm? None whatsoever. And you feel something. You see all the niggas over here that thought they knew God and all that. And the elephants over here going in the right line. Because the elephant ain't never raped nobody. Ain't never robbed nobody. Huh? And then you see your son do something and defend that boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know Butch, you wouldn't do that. Well, he just took money out your purse, nigga. Hmm? And all of y'all, well, I'm married to one. I know how y'all defend your children. Hmm? I know how you defend children. Oh, Reuben wouldn't do that. Reuben's on 20 years parole hmm? <laughs> for taking your money. Hmm? It's a, it's a game. You don't have to tell on your child if you don't want to. Just keep your mouth shut. Hmm? Just keep your mouth shut. Somewhere. Somewhere. So I say to the black church and the black preacher, hmm? I don't know where we would be without them. Just look at the Muslims. Hmm? Hmm? They ain't got no guns. They ain't standing on the corner with no big dogs or nothing. Somewhere, you know who you are, but you just can't believe this white boy just wipe out the power of God. Hmm? You know what I'm saying? Now, I got questions about God, but you know, God made Adam, you know that. And Adam said to God, I am lonely. I got an attitude when God didn't say, nigga, how can you be lonely when I just made one of you? Hmm? Y'all scared to ask that question, right? I didn't make no two of y'all, nigga. How you know lonely? But God don't talk like that. Hmm? <laughs> he talk the same way y'all talk when y'all talking to white folks. I, I can't understand it, but he sure did. Hmm? See? And then when you get smart, they can't blame my wisdom on Harvard or Yale or MIT. Hmm? I was born with it. I was talking like this when I was seven years old. My mama told me Santa Claus was a white boy and she buying the toys. Got them six months ahead of time and me and my brother played with them. We had to, we had to paint them over again by the time Christmas got there. <laughs> <laughs> and I just decided a white, racist, nasty, murdering system will never mess with my joy. I look at you niggas, you're scared to laugh, you're scared to smile, hmm? and don't know. Look at babies. Hmm? They're playing, two days old, they're playing. They in one room, you in another. You know if they feel good or feel bad. Of hmm? course, talking is nothing but a vibration. But a vibration. Hmm? Always worrying about money. Where, where'd it come from? Hmm? Hmm? I bought into that. I went and looked at my old pants when I was in my diapers and said, I know he left me something. And somebody said, try she. She left me something. And all of my diapers started filling up with you know, not no small change. Hmm? And now y'all talking about this cracker going to give you reparations. Hmm? You believe that? You won't get it. Huh? You won't get it. You know who's going to give it to you? Them same white law firms that got 50% of the cigarette settlement. Hmm? This cracker here that owned the ball team, he's just a poor Italian lawyer, and he got 50% of the cigarette money. Okay? But you have children. Yes. Would you make one real bright and one real stupid? Then what makes you think God made Einstein and gave you a blundering idiot? That's this white boy talking all that talk. Hmm? See how it works? White folk call me in, pay me $250,000, come speak to him. I said, well, cash. <laughs> yeah. 
See, I learned a long time ago how to rob a bank on one. Hmm? And it put stuff right in your face. Wells Fargo, six months ago, had 13,000 poor working people, church folks, huh? And said they was writing other people's name on an account. And you live with that mama and grandma. You know they wasn't doing that. And not one of them thugs went to jail. Trillion dollars they stole. And you ain't gonna do nothing about it. I was the first one at the bank when I heard the news. I said, can we help you? No, I just, I knew y'all was doing it and I knew you was gonna blame it on some niggas, some poor white folk, but I just want my peace. That's all, I ain't gonna talk. <laughs> I had to call my brothers, my sisters, my grandchildren, my children to come down with trucks. You just have to act like you know. Hmm? You hear what I'm saying? Just act like you know. I said, uh, who invented missiles? My son. And just say it like you mean it. Huh? I can't go to the hospital because I ain't got no money. Huh? You know how stupid you got to be to buy insurance? You ever figure that out? The insurance company bet you you're going to live. You betting them you're going to die. And you hoping you win and they charge you for thinking that way? <laughs> Somewhere. And this is all, it's that simple. That simple. There's no trickery to it. Look at the people in the civil rights movement. Huh? Now some of them were some dogs, but who cares? Hmm? They got a right to be white and they thinking. Hmm? But there's something wrong when you think cracker is a racial slur. Go home tonight and take a day off and see if you can find anything in the word cracker. Hmm? Me and two of my sons, a friend of mine, we just bought Nabisco's in St. Louis, went bankrupt. We'd be the only niggas on the planet making crackers. Hmm? <laughs> Bill, Bill, Bill Cosby is a good example. Hmm? My wife loves him. Hmm? Loved him. Biggest TV show going. What was it called? He was called Dr. What? You ever heard of anybody named Huskable? Huh? Now think about that. You ever heard of a white person named Huskable? You ever heard of a black person named Huskable? Hmm? You heard Jefferson, right? That's a nigga named President Thomas Jefferson. He's a nigga. Hmm? You just don't get no name out the stars. Hmm? Do you know how it works? It's a game. So somewhere, Bill Cosby, oh, white folks love Bill. You saw the show, didn't you? Oh, they children, white children be on his back, riding his back, eating tapioca out of their niggas' eardrums. <laughs> said, said, Bill, is America's dad. Remember that? And then want to tell us we ain't got no dads. Hmm? But Bill Cosby is America's dad. And they killed his son. And Bill went crazy. You know why? Hmm? That car that he bought for his son had a reboot in it. Most of the cars got a reboot. Now, nah, it means if it get a flat, it will refix itself. Bill knew that. So he know he wasn't. Who's fool enough to go on the highway and try to rob somebody's car doing 89 miles an hour? Hey, slow down. Stop. I want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> See how it works? Bill Cosby and Ed Weinberger was getting ready to buy NBC. That's why he killed his son, teach this nigga a lesson. But y'all walk around talking all that talk, huh? Mm -hmm. Right over here, the National Heart, that big gambling casino. Woo. Whew. Did you know? I'm sure y'all did, because you could. You know, a black man owned all that land for the white folks took it from. How many of y'all knew that? No, I have to raise your hand. Nigga, ain't be scared. You didn't know it? Yeah, why don't you go there and try to claim it? Say, that's my granddad. <laughs> <laughs> that's who we are. Hmm? Civil rights movement. Them old sons. I was there when they were going to kill us all. And they just walking. And I'm looking because one of the big police told me what they were going to do. Hmm? I didn't tell the sisters. So I see these crackers when we stepped over 33rd Street and they blocked off the press. 
And I saw these rednecks crossing the street with their guns and their pickaxes. Hmm? And the sisters kept singing, and the brothers kept singing. And then I saw something come over them rednecks' face. Deeper than any fear I ever known. They dropped their guns, and they ran back across the street. Tears. Why? Because they saw the Spirit of God coming out, you nigger. But we don't see that. Are y'all crazy? Huh? That's what they saw. Huh? And it frightened them to death. You have it. Huh? What you don't use, you busy making potato salad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then lying on your children. They're just walking down the street with their pants below. You heard that, right? You know what niggas will die next week from crack and cocaine? Then we'll die from potato salad in 10 years. Did y'all know that? Hmm? Did you know that? Hmm? Did you know, since they tell you niggas are just drugged out all the time, did you know the number one drugged out state tonight as we sit here is Utah? Did you know that? There ain't no niggas in Utah. They belong to the church coming out their mama's belly. And they are drugged out tonight. 81% of everybody died from an overdose today is white folks. Hmm? But you don't know that. Hmm? You look at your child and wonder, will a cop kill him before they get home tonight? Did you ever think you'd live to see the day that white cops will walk out the house and their wife and children don't know if they're seeing them for the last time? Hmm? It used to be us. No, it's not. Uh -huh. Number two, drug out today, Vermont. Okay? But they convince you, hmm? it's you. Hmm? Then you got to ask God some questions. You don't talk to God, you just. Hmm? My ignorant mama, she didn't know that. She told me when you gamble, this old country woman, don't be praying to God to win. <laughs> I'm five years old. That sounds good. I'm 85 now, 10 years ago. When I was 75, and the lottery went up to $600 million. You talk about the nigga praying. <laughs> and apologize for my ignorant mama. Say, God, you know my mama didn't know what to say. I'm telling you now. Not only do I want to win, God, I want to win all by myself. <laughs> I don't want to win with no 12 other people. I think I can do that without prayer. Hmm? <laughs> now, you know God is real. The word ain't God. God means power. That's why you can call the mafia Godfather, and you Christians don't get mad. Hmm? Mardi Gras. You ever been to Mardi Gras? Oh, you ought to go. You know, it's a Christian holiday. Catholic Church invented it in France 6,000 years ago. And the one we hear about now is when you go to New Orleans, no, no, it wasn't invented in New Orleans. It was Mobile, Alabama. A cracker by the name of John. Think of his name. I think of it. Hmm. So anyway, he invented it. And you do anything you want to do on Fat Tuesday. Rape any woman you wanted to rape and couldn't nothing happen to you. Hmm? Led by one white man. They go to the cemetery and do all that mess. Hmm? Hmm. John Cain, y'all ever heard his name? John Cain. And John Cain died. Them crackers and niggas didn't think he could die. They go out there every Fat Tuesday and try to raise him. That's where the word comes from, raising Cain. And they stupid enough to believe that Cain gonna be raised. Hmm? You said that about your brother. Boy, my brother came home. Did he raise some cane? When you hear that word, they talking about whiskey. Hmm? Whiskey. Hmm? So somewhere, <coughs> your nose, your eyes, the real living God have never put your nose where your ears belong, never put your eyes where your knees belong. You know how to go with the winter? Hmm? You know how to go with the winter? I looked at the Pope. He over here last summer. He had sciatica so bad he couldn't hardly walk the street, and I want him to wash my feet. 
Why don't y'all go listen to these celebrities? Hmm? Cedric the Entertainer. That first movie he made, Barbershop, where he said King wasn't nothing but a punk. Yeah. Huh? And Rosa Parks didn't do nothing. She just too tired to raise her big black. Huh? Yeah. Well, you know a white boy, Rosa, because all booties are the same when they're looking at a sister. She ain't black. And she wasn't tired. See, you got to put in these children's head. But as he said, Queen Elizabeth ain't nothing but a hoe, like he called King. He'd have been dead the next day. Hmm? The next day. Okay. So somewhere, when you leave here tonight, don't leave here thinking something's going to happen to you. Hmm? And you got to learn how to talk to God like it's a friend. Huh? When this government gave me the worst form of cancer you could ever have. Hmm? I just talked to him. I don't know where he was. I don't know if it was a man or woman. I look all around. I said, God, I don't know where you are, but let me talk to you. You might be a little tired, but there are a lot of niggas that deserve cancer, but I'm not one of them. <laughs> now, if you want me to write 12 niggas' names on a piece of paper, <laughs> and if you need something close to the house, and then I turn in and talk to cancer. I said, cancer? I can't see you. Hmm? Ain't never been able to see a germ. How you scared of something you can't see? Hmm? You can't see God? You ain't scared of that? I talked to God last night. Did you, nigga? Hmm. Did you ask for some numbers? Did you tell God your rent was due? You niggas gonna pray and say, God, my rent due. You think God is God and don't know your rent due? All you got to do is go to God like you're telling me. You know my rent's due. Uh, I know, I, I know it's due, but I figured you made it like that so I can get the mansion. Hmm? That's what it's about. Hmm? That's what it's about, somewhere. And so I just say to this year, stand up, stand up. One of the fine human rights workers in the world. <laughs> All over the world. I say Egypt, when were you there? I'm sorry, Egypt? Huh? Egypt? Egypt. When were you there? 1991 and 92. Huh? 1991 and 92. When you in Castro's country? I'm sorry? When did you, see, when did you go see Castro? Uh, just before he died. Okay, see? Anyway, you never read about that in Time magazine. Huh? Newsweek. Hmm? So when I leave, them crackers be waiting for me. Uh, where'd you go? Well, I went to this church. I saw some of the richest people in the world. Yeah, I was there. Hmm? I saw them do things. Hmm? You know what I'm saying? They think niggas don't make them a potato salad and barbecue. I said, look, if any of you punks in here now spying for the government and got to report on me, will you tell Trump this and them government agents? I was niggas that knew real voodoo. You tell Trump if he don't change his way, his feet will be like this. <laughs> Y'all know niggas can do that. You know that. Huh? This, this shoe be too big for him. Hmm? See, look at it. You see that? That's what we into. Hmm? My cousin, good Buddha, she said, these are the pants I'll have for that cracker. <laughs> they do it, you know that. How you think we survived this long? Hmm? You know what I'm saying? Eating the way we eat, drinking the way we drink. And this white boy, he's so cold-blooded. So y'all can leave here tonight thinking anything you want to think. But let me explain cracker to you. But then you go home and see if you can make a racial sure out of it. Hmm? The back of your neck. We used to work on the floods in Missouri. All day. And right before you have a sunstroke, it don't work with niggas. Except you like 
right in the back of your neck turns red. That's where the word red neck, cracker. Cracker, right before you die, the back of this here look like a soda cracker that you put in water and dry it out. That's what it means. Huh? We didn't know we was having them too. My oldest brother saw that cracker die and he was eating the cheese. My brother never ate cheese no more in his life because <laughs> he thought it was the cheese. Huh? See how it worked? Honky. Honky. Figure that out as a racial show since they taught you it was. Honky. Hmm? See, prostitution was for white men. Huh? Got MVC said, what do you mean for white men? I said, well, I came over here slave, boss. She wasn't working and I wasn't working. So when the time I had sex, I didn't have the money to pay her, she didn't have to pay me. I got it free, boss. Hmm? He said, what about now? I still get it free. You know, she's a little wet, sweaty, but I don't pay for that. And any of you niggas pay for it, you ought to go ask for your money back. Because it's for white men. Like right here, if they had the governor's convention here, well, they'd go about 40 miles. So can't nobody see him. And when the nigga driving down there, he honks his horn. Honk, honk. That's where the word honky came from. It's that simple, you know? So somewhere. I see when white folks hire me, she got, she just wrote a script. Was last night, going to New York, whew, big money. Nah, she's different than me. What she says in front of TV, she never say nothing off. I call them honkies, dirty, redneck crackers. Hmm? You hear what I'm saying? See, she's not like that. Look, look at her face. King wasn't like that. Hmm? King was just as peaceful and nice. Martin Luther King took on the mightiest nation that ever existed in the history of the planet with no guns and brought them to their knees. And you don't feel that. Huh? Somebody that looked like you, talked like you, go to the same church like you, brought them to their knees. And you don't see that? How you doing, brother? See, he was six foot four basketball player until he made a sister man. <laughs> <laughs> My man. So somewhere. So these white folks brought me in and we paid you $250,000 for the dinner. But there's a couple of us would like to just give you another $100,000 for our lunch and everybody can't come to that. I said, uh, did you send the money to my home? Huh? Yeah, okay. You know what white folks love me? They know I'm brilliant, but they don't see no hate. Mm -hmm. See how it works? Because if you hate somebody, you mess up you. Hmm? You hear me? You mess up you. So I go to the luncheon, and the white lady said, that's when I get into my ghetto talk. Uh, uh, Mr. Gregory, uh, what's the number one thing that's troubling you? That's how they saw it all. So I get in my ghetto. I, I said, well, what, 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 what bees bother me, y'all? <laughs> I wonder what happened to albinos after high school. Where'd they go? Every one of you niggas had an albino. Where are they? Huh? You ever son? Ain't that a simple question? Huh? Ain't none of them in jail. I work jails. I'm on planes every day. Ain't none of them. I'm in a church with a knife. I ain't never seen an albino in church. Where are they, white lady? Hmm? <laughs> they ain't never raped nobody. They'd be easy to catch, wouldn't it? <laughs> Somewhere, somewhere. Then they get off the subject. Uh, what's the second thing on your mind? Uh -huh. $100,000 just for one question. Oh, we'll take care of it, I know you know. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out, it was five years ago, I'm 80 years old, and I ain't never seen a baby pigeon. Have you? <laughs> Don't act like I'm a freak. <laughs> So that, that cracker said, oh, that's cause you urban. I said, Winch, I've been urban all my life. I've seen a baby monkey, a baby fox, a baby cat. I've seen everything baby, so don't tell me just cause I, no, no. 
How come I've never seen no baby pigeon? And when you see a pigeon out there on that electric wire, pigeons are trillion years old. Where do they sit for this electric wire? It's you not know, crap, you know, somewhere. And so somewhere, you just leave here loving yourself. Hmm? Loving yourself. That's why I've been married 58 years. You hear me? Why? Because I said to my wife, silly, said it ain't about love. Can you be lovable? Hmm? Can you be lovable? It's that simple. Hmm? That's what you have for a child. Sex ain't got nothing to do with it. It's lovability. Hmm? And then it works. Hmm? See how simple it is? You don't have to work. Go out to the zoo. I used to go to the zoo when I was eight years old. Look at the zoo and say to my brother, I wonder why them animals don't work. <laughs> that damn gorilla just now ate more food in one day than I'll eat in six weeks. They never had a job. <laughs> and my oldest brother was just like that. Me and my other brother went out to his house on Halloween dressed as a job. The nigga had a stroke. <laughs> you know what I mean? And when they don't answer what you want them to say, because you don't know. Hmm? I got into St. Louis one day, big money I'm making. He out there drunk, cocaine all over his beard, reefer dust on his shirt, sleep. Fourth of July, flies going in and out of his mouth, cheap, empty bottle of wine. I woke him up and gave him a apple. The nigga said, is it organic? <laughs> Somewhere. Somewhere. So Reggie, all y'all has been part of that movement. Brother King, thank you. Reggie, when I came here for the woman that them thugs had drew fire bomb in her house. Killed six of her children and her, but the dad was in the hospital still alive by the time the choice was over, he was dead. Reggie picked me up and I went up that hill. You know what it's like to see seven hearses lined up in one place for one cause. He'd already been arrested before but had that been a white person's house, he threw that first one in, he wouldn't have been back in the streets. Hmm? The shocker. Everybody was there. The governor was there. Everybody. Fire marshal. Everybody was there crying. Hmm? The governor was giving King speech. And for a minute, it sounded like King. That's how everybody was. It don't mean nothing for a few minutes. Hmm? I mean, I was in the army for three days. Hmm? You know what I'm saying? Why are you laughing? I might have been wounded. Hmm? Three days. That's when the army was seriously segregated. Huh? Black men, but white captains over you, telling you what to do. And you didn't see nothing wrong with killing somebody you ain't never met for this thug. So there's 50,000 of us in the street. That's why I will tell you, any of you boys, get captured by the enemy. You been in service, don't they tell you that? Yes, sir. Give up number, name, rank, and seal number, don't they tell you? Hmm? You know what dog tags are, miss? Yes, 